Rising prices are making life difficult for Selena Strayhorn. Gas prices, groceries, rent prices are skyrocketing again. All of this stuff, it, it gets hard to live. And that is weighing on the Edmonton woman's mind as she casts her ballot. Being a small business owner, you're not making a lot of income right now. Affordability and cost of living are playing a big role in the final days of the campaign. Definitely see the prices of food increase and um, as younger adults, we're definitely uh, noticing the cost of rent increasing. That's an important issue. You, we look around and see a lot of needs out there. The key to success for Alberta families is a strong economy. The United Conservatives say if re-elected, they would forbid any increase in personal or corporate taxes unless approved by a referendum. This commitment will protect Alberta job creators, employers, employees, families and investors from job-killing NDP tax increases. Tax increases that Rachel Notley is running on that will drive away businesses, investment and jobs once again. The NDP's plan for affordability includes a cap on electricity prices, a freeze on car insurance premiums and a new tax credit for children's activities. This will save the vast majority of Albertans nearly $1,000 and many, many families will save considerably more than that. This is a real investment in long-term affordability so that Albertans will see savings permanently on an ongoing basis. Advanced voting in Alberta has been higher than in the 2019 election. One political scientist says the focus on affordability may be that extra nudge for undecided voters. I think what we're seeing in the last days here is very much an appeal to economic voters, to voters who want to see how they will be better off under one party or the other. So Julia, how do you expect the next few days to go? So Adrian, it'll be a sprint to the finish. There's no doubt about that. Both main party leaders are doing what they can to get out the vote. And then there's that big focus on Calgary. Now that city is the number one battleground in this election and the seats won there could very well decide who becomes the next premier. Advanced voting wraps on Saturday and then election day is Monday. All right, Julia Wong, we'll see you on election night.